I should warn you right off the top, today's magic trick might be a trigger for some people because it involves violence, violence against innocent and unsuspecting playing cards, okay? One of the cards is going to get hurt. And frankly, I do not want to be the one to have to decide that. So rather than me spreading out the cards and randomly choosing one, we'll do this. I riffle through the cards. They call stop. The spectator, the spectator calls stop. I cut the cards exactly. They can call stop wherever they want. Wherever they call stop, I cut the cards. It's that simple. I say, oh, okay, you chose. I say, you chose the three of diamonds. The three of diamonds is the one that's going to get hurt today. I say, and just to make sure if authorities are involved in any way, I want you to be the one responsible. I want you to put your initials directly on the three, which they do. They put their, extend the deck, they put their initials on like this. Unfortunately, their initials suggest that the people have some very serious drinking problems. Okay, fine. You chose the card. You marked the card. We're going to make sure the card dries off a little bit here. Okay, now don't take your eyes off the initial card. You say, look. This is, you have to decide, is this an optical illusion or not? So look, I'm going to take the card, okay, and watch, watch right here. I'm going to hold it up to the camera, I want you to see. You have to decide, is this a real, uh, is that a real tear or not? How about, is that a real tear or not? You have to decide. Now the card's in pain. But look, don't take your eyes off it. Keep your eyes on the card. What? All I have to do is give the card a little bit of a flick. Watch what happens. You're going to see it happen right here. Just a flick. And look, weirdly, impossibly, a band-aid, <laughs> a band-aid has appeared right over the tear on their freely selected and initialed card. And of course, what's really cool is at that point, you can hand it to them as a souvenir and they can remove the band-aid and underneath the band-aid the small tear that they clearly saw you make in the card is totally gone and the card is totally healed making for a wicked and very magical souvenir i think you would agree that that is a wicked card trick a uh, very unlike any other card trick you do uh, i'm certain of that you might do a torn restored card but it may not involve a sign card, or if it involves a sign card, it doesn't involve a band-aid visibly appearing out of nowhere on the back of the sign card, and then the kicker that uh, once you remove the band-aid, or they remove the band-aid, the card underneath is healed. So there's a lot going on there. This is a very, very old trick of mine. I released it many, many years ago when I was just a punk walking around with a paper bag saying to people, hey, somebody, I don't know, give me some food already, something like that. Uh, years and years ago, uh, and I've done this trick a million times. You know, I go through periods where I'm performing it, and then I don't do it for a couple of years, and go back to it, and it's just a lot going on. And one of the big challenges with all this kind of thing is bringing a trick, as always, to life, getting people to care about it. And so this notion of this might be a trigger, it's violence against cards, is that a real tear, and the band that appears, lots going on here to make it a very, uh, you know, a really powerful and unforgettable trick. I'm going to reveal all the secrets in just a moment. It's not that hard to do. Kind of it uses an unusual slight that if you're not familiar with it, you will be thrilled to find out the secrets. Uh, there'll also be a question of the week. This week I'm giving away my trick called Portal. P-O-R-T-A-L. Portal, like doorway. It is the name of a gimmick, really, on the SankeyMagic.com site. It's a black silicon kind of rubber special hole where you can make things appear and vanish and all this stuff it's cool it's called portal going to give away 12 of these i'm also going to announce the winners of last week last week i did choice effect was the cool trick again you'll find it on sankeymagic.com i got 12 winners here let me jump in though and last ask the question of the week right now okay if you could tear and restore anything in your magic show what would it be you're performing for friends or family you're at a picnic in the bar whatever and you're doing some tricks if you had real magic powers and you could tear and restore, you know, hand it back out, whatever it is, people can examine it, because you had real magic powers, you could do anything, what would you tear and restore in your magic um, show? What would it be, okay? Leave a comment down below. You'll automatically be entered into the contest to win one of 12 choice of, uh, no, to win one of 12 portal, particularly good for like uh, coin tricks and stuff like that. Now, let's jump in and reveal this cool secret. Um, oh, just want to remind you, please, 
you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Click the subscribe button. Lots of cool new videos coming. Uh, real variety, lots of simple, magical, cool videos. More and more people are back to live performance and live situations where they can do magic, which is great. And so I've got a whole ban bunch, bench, bench, bunch. I've got a whole bunch of new tricks coming right at you. All of a sudden, Jay goes into Spanish or something. Bunch. Uh, so uh, click the subscribe, please. And hey, if you like this trick, give it a click. It really will help my channel grow, grow, grow. So, first thing we got a band aid, standard band aid. It can be plastic or cloth, but the first thing we're going to do is, and this is curious, what is Jay doing here? I'm going to trim, trim. I'm going to, I'm basically going to take off, I don't know what, an eighth of an inch, a little bit off both sides of the band aid. Now, why is he doing that? What's up? Well, I've got small hands, and I want the band aid to be as slim as it can be. I've made it a slim band-aid, okay? If you get too slim, it starts to look like, well, is that really a band-aid, okay? So I've got a nice slim band-aid, okay? I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna grab the deck here, grab a playing card. I don't know, let's go with a two of diamonds, say, okay? I guess we got the two of diamonds. I'm gonna take the band-aid. You're gonna like this, you're gonna like it. There's a bunch of clever little crazy things going on in here. I'm gonna take the band-aid and I'll Gonna position it here, a little like this. Okay, like this, maybe, I don't know, we'll do that like this. And then wrap it around like that, like this, okay. So this is where the Band-Aid's gonna end up. And notice that it's angled, okay? So it's on the side and it's angled up like that. The reason it's angled up like that, you're gonna find out in a sec, just a second. So that's my secret preparation. Now, this card is on the uh, bottom. It's on the bottom of the pack. That's where it starts, which means that in a show, if I'm performing for some people, I can have the card shuffle, do a few card tricks, put the deck in my pocket, my jacket pocket, or off to the side, my magic case, or my pants pocket, whatever, and I can put it directly on top of this that's in my pocket, and then if I want to do one more kind of baffle, crazy, unforgettable trick, I take the deck out of my pocket, and I've got this set up on the bottom. Then I talk about it's violent, it's scary, whatever I want to do. I cut the pack and I keep a break here with my pinky. You see me use this one a lot. It's a good one. Here like this. And I say, I don't, and I spray out the cards, but keep the break. You keep the break. Spreading the cards really makes it look very fair like this. Uh, I'm not going to randomly choose a card. I want you to be the one responsible because the card's going to get hurt. All right. Sort of comedic, but it sells the idea, the reality of the tear. You riffle, they call stop. You say, wherever you call stop, I'm going to cut the cards. You cut the cards, which cuts this back to the bottom. Uh, the band-aid back to the bottom there. Square up the cards, turn the cards over, and say, oh, the two of diamonds, a good choice. So, that is why the band-aid is there, is so that my thumb can cover it. Now, it doesn't have to completely be able to cover the band-aid. It just has to naturally cover it from the front, which this does easily, okay? From the front, somebody from the side, someone from on all sides, nobody can see it. Only you can. At the very back, underneath the thumb, you can see the edge. Other than that, the thumb has it totally covered, all right? So you don't have to freak out or uh, be anxious or anything. You just say, and in fact, to make sure you're fully responsible, and this is fun. This is the presentation that motivates why they're making a mark on it, rather than saying, to make sure that it's the only card and I am not going to secretly switch it, rather than saying that. You say, go ahead, put your initials on the corner, just first initial. Not, I don't ask for the full name, I just want a quick initial, I want to keep this puppy moving. And so they put the initial A, V. The next part is very cool, and this is where you'll learn the secret slide, but first let's make the announcement. Here are the 12 winners from last week's Choice Effect giveaway. Choice Effect. Um, Galina de Yeso, G-A-L-L-I-N-A de Yeso, Y-E-S-O, Yeso. Um, John Fox, Captain Chaos. Well, look, who knows what he'll do, whatever. He, you never know what he's got, but he's a captain of it. Okay, Captain Chaos. Steve, uh, Kevin, not Steven, Kevin Sansom, Gordon Ward, Pete Haley, Marlon Hiles, Hi, uh, Hills, I'm assuming it's not. Hiles, Hills, uh, Haywood Jablom, Jablom, J-A-B-L-O-M-E, Haywood Jablom, Ronald Blaine, I'm sure no relation, uh, James Harrier, Ted John, and Ali the Trickster. That Ali, what is up with Ali? He's such a trickster. Okay, so you guys won. Uh, as always, let, people, let my team know you won. Send an email to contact at sankeymagic.com. 
let them know your real name and your YouTube name if they're different, okay? Because we'd want to know, for example, you know, Captain Chaos. We want to know your real name and, and your address, and they will ship to you the uh, specially printed uh, props and all the cool stuff with Choice Effect. Congratulations. All right. Okay, let's jump in here. When we were last at this card show, we're here. We've got this there like this. And so what we do is after they've marked it, we pull, pull back our thumb and then we take the card off and we blow and we dry it. That's what it looks like. That's not what I've done though. What I did was a very, it's a, it's a second deal, but it's a very easy one. You just push the thumb card down a little bit and you take that card off. Nothing sneaky. Okay, don't go fast. You're here. You blow once, you're talking to them. You can be talking about anything. Hey, you know, I never had a stuffed toy as a kid. I just had a cinder block uh, with a, an eye drawn on it. Really, I did. And you just come over and you, while you're talking and saying whatever, you just take that off, blow. Say, keep an eye on this. Now, here's the one slightly awkward moment. I have to readjust the deck. And so what I do is I take this and put it up here, like this, or you can put it on the table or put it in your shirt pocket. In fact, right here, I'm gonna tuck it. I'm doing this through the camera, the viewfinder. Let's see, there, there. I'm gonna keep that there for a second, like that. Keep an eye on it, because we're gonna see an illusion. And so that way you just casually readjust the deck, putting it down now, okay, here is, it's on the left side, okay, like this. The, you gotta decide, is this an illusion or not? Now, I'm gonna come over here, hold the card. I wanna make sure they don't see the bottom, of course. I'm like this, and I just do the tiniest little tear up there without flashing the face. So that's the one bit of, pro do you think it's a real tear? Well, how about uh, this one? Is that a real tear? Or how about this? Is that a real tear? And they can see clearly it's a real tear. Now, here's the really cool magic part. Uh, really a nice idea, I think, because uh, rather than just doing a secret switch, I use it for an impossible appearance and switch at the same time. They see the torn edge. All you're going to do is flick it with your left thumb. Okay, flick, flick. That's all you're going to do is flick it. And when you flick it, the band-aid appears. Real magic, but you've also switched it for their sign card. Okay, so there's a lot of cool things going on. This is the bottom top move. And it's not hard. Okay, uh, You push to prepare for it. You're gonna basically pull the card back in towards the hand, okay? And that, because you wanna be able to get it sort of like this. Your fingers are slightly pushing it just a little bit and you're cupping the whole thing in your hand. So before, just before you do the move, this is the position you want, okay? It's cupped, it's beneath the hand, but nobody can see it because of the finger. And I'm gonna come over and flip this, flick this a couple of times. But these right fingers, after flicking once or twice, these right fingers are gonna kind of reach below, grab the edge of this, and I'm gonna, as I flick and pull the top card back onto the deck, this is coming out. Let me give you the slightly exposed view, okay? So we're here, and flick, flick, and here's the slow motion, okay? Performance speed, I think you'll agree though, this flicking action, okay, here, there's really not much to see. You're just flicking, okay? And let me do it again for you. So you're here. Say, watch the uh, watch the tear, because I just have to flick up my hand. And look, it looks so pretty. I mean, the fact that, the fact, even if it wasn't signed, if you have a card with a small tear, you flick your thumb, and there's a Band-Aid there, that's magic. I mean, that's a great trick. That's whole other level. You look like an expert magician, okay? Like that. Now, they have no idea at this point the card's going to be restored. Remember that. The magician, he had me select a card saying some goofy stuff. He tore it and then he flicked and a bandit appeared on it. Wah, wah, almost a joke, right? They have no idea what's waiting for them. So you hand this out or you can give it a little rub or you can try to start your own religion, right? Oh, yeah, it's a lot. Whatever you want, okay? And then, of course, ask them to remove the band aid and they do. And freak fest. They saw it was torn. It was initial. There's no explanation. Very, very cool trick. Please. If you like that kind of trick, and I know you do, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, click that button, the like button, and leave a question. Leave a, don't leave a question. That'll be confusing. Hi, Jay. Why are you such a weirdo? No, don't leave a question. Leave an answer to this question. If you could tear and restore, if you had real magic powers and you could tear and restore anything, maybe it's um, a pancake in front of your friends. Everybody, get your syrup. Everybody, drop your pants and grab your bottles of syrup. It happened. Uh, you tear a pancake. If you had real magic powers and you could tear anything and to amaze people and restore it, what would it be? Leave a comment down below. You'll automatically be entered in the contest. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, that's really about it for today, folks. That's it. You can move, move on.
There'll be no more weird and strange and troubling things I'll be doing today on today's video. Promise. Oh, he's getting ready to do something. What's he gonna do? I don't even. You go. You can, seriously, anybody who's still watching, you're a true, a true Sankey fan. Thank you for watching. Uh oh, he's dropping into one of his animals. Mm. Mm. I know what it is now. This is weird. It's a kind of a shark with the one fin, but not on the back where a shark's fin ought to be, where it should be.